Hey guys, this is going to be another Pretty Little Liars talk with just some random stuff that I've come up with since the last one. Um, I wanted to explore a few ideas. First of all, if you remember, Aria was Daisy Buchanan in last season's Halloween special. And Daisy Buchanan is a character in um, Great Gatsby, as I mentioned before. Um, they were studying the Great Gatsby in school when Hannah was run over by the car, okay? Ezra Fitz loves the Great Gatsby, okay? Aria dressed up for her. Daisy Buchanan, in the story, Daisy Buchanan falls for a rich bootlegger with a shady past. Ezra has a shady past. And also, the word Daisy is spotted on the blackboard at the end of the episode. And A leaves daisies by Mrs. Potter's grave, if you remember that part. Um, interesting. Who is A? Is it Ezra? Is it Arya? So all the signs are really pointing to Arya. I've been watching a lot of things about the whole concept on dolls. Um... Arya's mom said something like, people aren't dolls, you can't just play with them and then like put them away or something like that. And then all of a sudden after that happened, we started seeing those dolls of the girls. And then girls dressed up and then Arya's was dressed up in black pants and a black hoodie. Um, also, remember the doctor that I've talked about and that I thought that Ezra was in fact the um, other patient that they had found the notes about those bitches need to go down and and the revenge and the angry problems. Um, if it isn't Ezra, then it's Aria or something like that. Uh, Ellie's mom, something. Um, but anyways, remember that we saw an Ezra Fitz, Masters of Arts in English Literature from Hollis College. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, that draws the connection. Here's the thing. We have already found out that Ezra's last name is really Fitzgerald. And on a college diploma you definitely wouldn't just have fits so that definitely was something that was plotted there from a just to scare them a little and that's why i'm starting to think that ezra really isn't a he might be a part of the team but i don't think it would be that blatantly clear here's the other thing what do you guys think about the fact that kayla paid that kid off to say that hannah's mom was innocent if you notice in it you watch caleb nod to the kid when Hannah's mom walks up so he knows who to say was Hannah's mom. Okay. My theory right now is that the A team is tracking Allie for Big A. And the B team is the one that is actually torturing the girls. The A team, as we know already, is Toby. Okay. It's Toby, Ezra, Aria, maybe. Um, Lucas. Um... Now, Mona is now on the B team. Well, apparently. Okay, I think she's in limbo. I think she's trying to get the B team to stop torturing the girls. Um, and she still is being blackmailed to help track Allie. Um, now, a lot of people are like, really? You think that Ren, Jenna, Sh Shauna, and Melissa are torturing the girls? Yes, I do. Um, also, a lot of people have mentioned the cat poem that he said in, uh, Ezra said in the finale. Um, which right when he started saying, I'm like, weird, why would you remember about Allie? Why would you bring that up? Guys, remember he said something, it's like a cat, the cat poem? And then when Cece fell, remember? The bitch has nine lives. Cat, nine lives. Okay? And also, somebody mentioned to me, I don't know if it was Chad McDonald or it was someone else. I should have looked before then. But thank you all of you that comment and, and interact with me because it's very fun for me in between my work. Um, someone said that in that scene, Arya was wearing a shovel necklace, okay? I told you guys to pay attention. Remember I told you about Spencer's key shirt? And we we need to start paying attention to their accessories and such. My last thing for this video. C.C. Drake. C.D. Now, I know that they say that the book's it's not going to be how the books are. Here's the thing. In the books, we have the twin, Courtney De Laurentiis, C.D. Maybe they're not going to make it twins. The twins will be parents and something that I've explored in other videos. But maybe C.C. is actually Allie's older sister. And her father had an affair. 
okay? In the books, wait, is it in the books? In the books, it's Spencer Hastings' dad has an affair with Jessica De Laurentiis, Allie's mom, and Allie is actually Spencer's half-sister. I believe that's what happens. And I'm sorry if you haven't read the books. It's not a big plot thing. So I am curious to see CD, <laughs> to see where CC plays into this. I'm really starting to think that she's a family member. I think that she is pretending to, she's pretending to be a red coat. She's trying to look like Allie to distract A from finding Allie. She's protecting her for some reason. Um, and hopefully we will find out soon. So that is my PLL Talk Volume 5. Let me know what you think about some of these things, um, finding these connections and such. As I get another list going, I will do another video. I know you guys like them, but I don't. I like to come on and at least give you five minutes, you know? So we're about six minutes now. So this is the first Tuesday without Pretty Little Liars and Twisted. And I'm already sad that it's not going to be on tonight. It's going to be a long few weeks. So look behind you. Look in front of you. <laughs> Because A is watching.